Winning the U.S. Open forever changes a challenger into a champion. In 1991, Monica Seles and Stefan Edberg found the joy of U.S. Open victory. In golf, Meg Mallon won her first U.S. Open. And Payne Stewart captured his with this playoff putt. Pete Weber pulled his way from the fifth position to the U.S. Open crown. And Anne-Marie Dugan joined the U.S. Open elite field last year with her first major championship. Now the first U.S. Open title of 1992 is on the line, and another challenger can emerge a champion. ESPN presents the championship round finals of the BPAA United States Open, live from Fountain Valley Bowl, located in Fountain Valley, California. Starting from the number five position, Anne-Marie Dugan will try to become the first repeat champion in the history of the U.S. Open. Tonight's number four seed, Carol Giannotti of Firth, Australia, will shoot to become only the second foreigner to capture an Open title. Meanwhile, last year's top seed, Leanne Barrett, has her heart set on her very first major championship. Red Hot Tish Johnson has also set her sights on becoming the 1992 United States Open titleist. While 17 Pro Tour victories later, tonight's leading qualifier, Alita Sill, will need to win just one game to clinch her first U.S. Open championship and $18,000. Welcome to Fountain Valley Bowl, located in Fountain Valley, California, the site for the second consecutive year of the Women's BPAA U.S. Open. Hi, everybody. I'm Denny Schreiner, along with Jan Schmidt, and welcome to the finals of the most prestigious event at women's professional bowling, the United States Open. And, Jan, what would it mean to any of our top five finalists tonight to become this year's Open champion? Oh, Denny, to win a U.S. Open is so very special. The player that wins tonight will forever be remembered as a U.S. Open champion, and the respect and recognition she's going to gain from her peers and the rest of the bowling world is unmatched in any other event always intense pressure when you're trying to win in the championship round but tonight the open is on the line so is there even more pressure yet added oh there's much added pressure tonight and the player that handles it tonight will be the one that wins and the lady who handled it best a year ago in the united states open championship was Anne marie dugan and she looked back a year at her first open title winning the u.s open was the most memorable moment in my bowling career Last night, we attended a dinner in honor of Marion Ladwig and the past U.S. Open champions. She won the event four times in a row when it was a BPA All-Star. I would love to become the first person to repeat the BPA U.S. Open.